I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proactive in connecting with people that I, that I have some connection with um, through whatever means. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a list, uh, a daily checklist I use every morning that's sort of my networking checklist. One of the things I do is I look at my calendar from yesterday. Any phone calls I had, any conversations I had, any meetings I have, I make sure I'm connected with those folks in a number of ways. I make sure that, um, that we're connected on LinkedIn. I make sure that I'm following them on Twitter. Um, I make sure that I've, you know, got uh, that, you know, once we're connected, I know what their birthday is and I've, you know, got some alerts set up to sort of tell me when things, interesting things are going on about them and in their business. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing the same thing with people. We get people coming to our website on a regular basis that are downloading our best practice guides and webinars and other, other tools. And so I'm connecting with a lot of them as well, just to maintain that continuity relationship. So, you know, we've been fairly aggressive at, you know, using, in some cases, very thin lines of beginning relationships and using LinkedIn to strengthen those over time. But, it, you know, and, and it's, it's not authentic if you're not doing it yourself. I mean, like, you know, all the, all the LinkedIn connections, you know, any t anything, anything that's written with my name on it, anything that's connected um, through a social channel, that's, that's me doing it. I don't think, of, I can't think of a better other way of doing that. But, you know, if you're authentic and you build good value, I think those relationships, even those that start kind of just with the download or start with a chance meeting at a conference can certainly blossom. All right. So this, this is obviously working for you. Uh, and I'd love to dive a little bit deeper into, you know, how this plan and strategy, you know, how you implement it. So can you maybe walk us through step by step? How do you double your connections? Yeah, I mean, let's, let's take, for instance, you know, going to a conference, you know, you meet someone at a conference, you know, your, your ability to, to increase your connections relies on your ability to go and sort of initiate connections. So if you're at an event in your in town, if you go to a happy hour at night with, you know, birds of a feather, if you're going to a conference, um, you know, I hate to use the term sort of, you know, sort of collecting business cards, but your job is to meet as many people as possible. Even if they're not people that you think you could directly do business with, you never know who they know. You never know what job they'll have next. You never know, as I gave the example earlier, six years from now, what's going to happen. Um, I literally met someone four years ago who wanted to bring us in to do a project, um, ended up not getting budget for it. Um, his managing director had other priorities at the time, which is fine. Um, he called up four months ago and says, well, I left for a different job and I came back and now I'm the managing director. So let's get going on this thing, right? Um, so, you know, staying in touch with people is important. But you go to an event, you go to a conference you know, meet the people in line at registration. Say hi to the people behind you in line for lunch. Um, you know, get meet as many people as you can and actually follow up with them. Uh, if you come back from a conference and you've got a stack of business cards that sits on the side of your desk for forever until you throw them out, that's not using those names. I'd highly encourage you to, you know, connect with those folks on the plane ride home. You know, don't go to bed at night before you've sent a thank you note and a LinkedIn connection to all those people. Um, you know, just there's hard work that goes into sort of building those connections and initiating those, those, those relationships. But, you know, there's no shortcuts to this. I think, you know, hopefully people that are looking at the topic here and saying, Oh wow, you know, double your, double your LinkedIn connections. Like, how do I do that? Well, you can't pay someone overseas 50 bucks to get 15,000 new connections. That, and if you could, it wouldn't be authentic and it wouldn't benefit you. So, you know, the entire, you know, the, the, the ROI you're going to get out of your connections has everything to do with the value and time and attention you put into them.